Good morning, boys and girls. Today, you're going to listen to the story about a mailbox and the adventures of a family of mice who live inside it. It's called the mailbox mice. So let's look at picture number one. One morning, Father Mouse woke up early. We must get up, he said to Mother Mouse. It is moving day. The roof of this house in the meadow leaks when it rains. Last night, I got drops on my nose. So did I, Mother Mouse said. And there is a puddle on the burrow. But, oh dear, where shall we move to? I have a, I have a surprise for you, Father Mouse told her. I have found a new home. We will load our things into that old shoe we found in the mud and go. They went to their children's room. Wake up, Timmy, they said. Wake up, Tessie. It is moving day. We are going to have a fine, new, dry home. Let's look at this picture now. The Mouse family had a quick breakfast. Then they loaded their things into the shoe and said goodbye to their old house. They went along a tiny road under the meadow and under the meadow daisies and clover. At last, they came to an old farmhouse. And here, said Father Mouse, is the surprise. A tall, small house on a short, strong pole. The house is, an, is old and dented, but it is made of tin. It will not leak when it rains. The wobbly door will not shut tight, but that means we can get in and out easily. Oh, how lucky, said Mother Mouse, clapping her tiny paws. I don't care if it's, a, it's old and dented, but how shall we get our things up into our new home? Asked Timmy. That will be easy, Father Mouse said. We will tie the shoestrings together and lift the things up and I will climb to the top of the wobbly door and do the pulling. So they began working. They got their beds up and their tables and chairs and their pots and pans and their cupboard full of food. Let's look here, picture three. Soon they were in their tall, small house with all their things. We will put them Way at the back, Mother said. Mother Mouse said. Then the rain will not wet them when it comes in over the top of the door. After a while, they were cozily fixed. They had their supper of grains of corn. That night, the moon shone over the top of their door on their mouse faces. The wind rattled the door, but they did not wake up. Let's look here. Picture four. But the next morning... Mother Mouse sat up in bed. Listen, she said. I hear a noise. A car. And it was a car, stopping before the tall, small house. A hand jerked down the wobbly door, opened it wide, and came a lot of paper things. Envelopes with writing on them, a newspaper rolled up tight. They were just thrown in. Mercy me, said Mother Mouse. Who did that? Where are you all anyway? I'm here under this big square thing, Father Mouse said. He crawled out from under an envelope. We're here under this rolled up newspaper, squealed Tessie and Timmy. But what shall we do with all this stuff? cried Mother Mouse. We could chew it up to help, up, help us keep warm in winter, Father Mouse said. But just then, another hand reached in and took the paper things. It's good they're gone, said Timmy. There was hardly any room for us with all that stuff. I do hope it won't happen again, said Tessie. But the next morning, it did happen again. More envelopes and a newspaper were thrown in and a little box tied with red string. This time, the mouse family happened to be out. They had to climb over all the stuff and scuttle to the back of their, of their tall, small house 
when they came home. Then a hand reached in and took the things away. At first, everything seemed all right again. But then Timmy squealed. Where's Tessie? Oh, mercy me, wailed Mother Mouse. She must have got carried away with the paper stuff. She's in the farmhouse. So then we must go over there at once, Mother Mouse said. She is in danger. They scuttled across the road and climbed up on a windowsill and they looked in the open window. The farmer's family was reading their mail, but Tessie was nowhere about. Let's look here, picture five. Suddenly, Mother Mouse said, look, the wastebasket. There she was, peeking over the top. She saw her family. Her eyes were big like black raindrops. It was awful, she whispered. My tail got caught in the red string around the box. I pulled it loose, but they threw me away with the paper. All this will not do at all, Father Mouse said. We can't keep being bothered every day. We must move again. We'll go back to our old home. Yes, I know the roof leaks, but that's better than having stuff thrown in on us all the time. Or losing our child in a wastebasket, Mother Mouse said. So they all went to work again. They lowered their things to the ground and packed them in the shoe and their beds, their tables and chairs, their pots and pans and clothes. The tin door wobbled and shook. Now for the food cupboard, Father Mouse told him. That's the last thing and the heaviest. But oh, what happened? The door of the tall, small house came off. It dropped to the ground with a bump and a rattle. The cupboard fell, too, of course, and all the food came out of it. They had to scamper around to pick it up. What bad luck! grumbled Timmy. No, it's good luck, Father Mouse told him, for we can take the old tin door with home with us. It will make a fine roof, one that will not leak. So they started back to their old home, pulling the shoe. When they got to their house, it looked so safe and cozy. They were tired and they had, they had, two, they had, had two moving days. So they're here now, picture six. The next morning, they fixed the tin door tight on top of their house. They were happy. They had got a new roof and the people in the farmhouse got a new mailbox that very day. They couldn't imagine what had happened to the door of the old one. All right, so now we're gonna answer some questions about the story, so turn the page. All right, so let's look at the top row with the ball in it. All right, question number one. What did the mice use as a moving van? Circle the picture that shows what the mice used as a moving van. All right, uh, let's go to the row with the apple in it. Where did the mice make their new home? Circle the picture that shows where the mice made their new home. Let's look at the next one with the umbrella in it. In the story, Tessie was caught under a string tied around a package. What color was the string on that package? Circle the word that tells what color the string was. All right, let's look at the row with the rabbit in it. Where did Tessie Mouse end up when she had got taken out with the mail? Circle the picture that shows where Tessie Mouse ended up. And the last row with the ladybug. 
When the Mouse family moved back to their old home, they put a new roof on it. What was their new roof made of? Okay. Circle the word that tells what the new roof was made of. So read the words and then circle the word that tells what the new roof was made of. And then when you're done, take a picture and send it to me.